Welcome back, dear learners, to the English Grammar Mastery Course. My name is Sai Sarath, and in this lesson, we will learn about prepositions and their types. Prepositions are the tiny yet powerful words that glue our sentences together and help us express precise meanings. In this lesson, we will delve into the world of prepositions, uncovering their importance and learning how to master them for flawless communication. As always, if you have any questions or need clarification throughout the lesson, feel free to ask in the Q&A section or email me directly. I am here to help you on this learning adventure. So let's not wait any longer and jump right into the fascinating realm of prepositions. First of all, let us understand what prepositions are. Prepositions are the words that express the relationship between a noun or pronoun and other words in a sentence. They usually indicate the position or direction of an object or person in relation to another object or person. For example, in the sentence, the cat is on the table, the preposition on indicates the relationship between cat and the table, specifically that the cat is located on top of the table. Prepositions can indicate a wide variety of relationships and they come in different flavors, each serving a unique purpose. Some of the common types of prepositions include place preposition, direction preposition, time prepositions and manner prepositions. Let us understand each of these types starting with the place prepositions. The place prepositions indicate where something is located. They are used to describe the position of an object or person in relation to another object or person. The examples of place prepositions include in, on, under, above, below, next to, between, among, in front of, behind, near and far from. Let us look at each of them. The preposition in denotes an object's location within a defined space or container. For example, the ball is in the box. This means that the ball is located inside the box. In can also be used to describe a general location such as a city or country as in, I live in India. On is used to describe a location that has a surface or a position above something else. For example, the ball is on the box. This means that the ball is located on top of the box. The preposition under indicates that an object is positioned beneath or below another object. For example, the ball is under the box. This means that the ball is located below the box. The preposition above refers to an object's location at a higher position relative to another object. For example, the ball is above the box. This means that the position of the ball is somewhere above or higher than the position of the box. The preposition below indicates that an object is situated at a lower position relative to another object. For example, the ball is below the box. This means that the position of the ball is lower than the position of the box. The preposition next to describes an object's placement in close proximity or adjacent to another object. For example, the ball is next to the box. This means that the ball is located adjacent to the box. The preposition between indicates that an object is positioned in the middle of two or more objects. For example, the ball is between two boxes. This means that the position of the ball is in middle of a position of two boxes. The preposition among signifies that an object is positioned 
in the midst of a group or surrounded by other objects for example the ball is among the boxes this means that the ball is placed along with other boxes the preposition in front of describes an object's placement directly ahead or facing another object for example the ball is in front of the box this means that the ball is ahead or facing the box the preposition behind indicates that an object is situated at the rear or back side of another object for example the ball is behind the box this means that the ball is located at the back side of the box the preposition near denotes that an object is located in close proximity or a short distance away from another object for example the ball is near the box this means that the ball is located close to the box the preposition far from signifies that an object is positioned at a considerable distance or a significant gap exists between two objects for example the ball is far from the box this means that a significant gap exists between ball and the box the next type of prepositions are the direction prepositions the direction prepositions indicate the direction of movement they are used to describe movement from one place to another the examples of direction prepositions include into out of toward away past the over the onto the of the and around the let us look at each of these individually the preposition into indicates movement or entry inside an object or space for example the ball goes into the box the preposition out of indicates movement or exiting from an object or space for example the ball comes out of the box the preposition toward indicates movement in a direction of a particular object or location for example the ball moves toward the box the preposition away from indicates movement in opposite direction or getting further away from an object or location for example the ball rolls away from the box the preposition past the indicates movement or going beyond a specific object or location for example the ball rolls past the box the preposition over the indicates movement across or crossing a specific object or location for example the ball jumps over the box the preposition onto the indicates movement onto or placing an object on a specific object or surface for example the ball falls onto the box the preposition of the indicates movement away or getting down from a specific object or surface for example the ball falls off the box the preposition around the indicates movement in a circular path or surrounding a specific object or location for example the ball rolls around the box the next type of prepositions that we have to learn are the time prepositions the time preposition indicate when something is happening they are used to describe the time of the day days of the week months of the year and specific dates examples of time prepositions include at in on during before and after at is used to refer to a specific point in time for example i will meet you at 3 pm this means that you will meet that person at that exact time in is used to indicate a period of time for example she was born in may means that she was born during the month of may on is used to refer to a specific day or date for example the party is on friday this means that the party is happening 
on the upcoming Friday. During is used to describe an action that takes place within a specific period of time. For example, I fell asleep during the movie. This means that you fell asleep at some point while the movie was played. Before is used to indicate that one event happens prior to another event. For example, I always have breakfast before I go to work. This means that you eat breakfast first and then you go to work. After is used to indicate one event happens later than another event. For example, we went to the park after lunch. This means that you ate lunch first and then you went to the park. The next type of prepositions are the manner prepositions. Manner prepositions indicate how something is done. They are used to describe the way in which action is performed. Examples of manner prepositions include by, with, in and like. By is used to indicate the method or means by which something is done. For example, the letter was delivered by mail. This means that letter was sent through the postal service. By can also be used to indicate the agent or the doer of an action, as in, the book was written by a famous author. With is used to indicate the tool, instrument or material used to do an action. For example, she cuts vegetables with knife. This means that she uses a knife to cut the vegetables. In is used to describe the way or manner in which something is done or performed. For example, the dancers moved in perfect harmony. This means that the dancers moved in coordinated and synchronized way. Like is used to indicate a similarity or a comparison between two things or actions. For example, he drives like a maniac. This means that his driving style is similar to that of a maniac. Okay, now that we have learned about different prepositions, let us practice applying the correct prepositions in these sentences. Here are some sentences for you. Fill in the blanks using the correct prepositions. You can pause the video here and try to solve these questions. You can get the answers in the PDF material given below. So that brings an end to the topic prepositions and their types. In this lesson, we have explored the fascinating world of prepositions, understanding the types and learning how to use them effectively in our daily communication. With consistent practice and a keen eye for details, you will soon master the art of using prepositions flawlessly. After watching this lesson, you can go through the material given below and test your understanding through a quiz given there. In the next lesson, you will learn about the conjunctions and the types of conjunctions. So I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you and